that effect is going to be able to win a one versus one against Jaha. Just deny the train set, it's crucially removed that from the fight now. It's going to be forced out of Unko already, so Jay Hong's feeling pretty good about himself right now, and that's AKM. He's found his important frag, his first one of this round. There needs to be more where that came from for the Dallas Fuel. They must press the advantage, but they've got point control. It's up to Seoul now to stand and deliver. Yeah, and OGE in effect actually forced out the transcendence from Jaha. OGE uses Primal Rage, affecting a pulse bomb, and they just able to push the members back from Seoul Dynasty. It'll be separate using a self destruct on the point. It actually knocks Mickey out of his mech, but Dallas getting very close to taking point A. OGM is ham. He's in the back line. You can see him on the wireframe. He went so deep to remove Gambler. That's exactly what he did. The Dallas Fuel take point A. Five minutes, 17 on the clock. In fact, he's hunting down. Maybe force these ultimates out way far away from the point. Dallas cannot have the force. Oh, flatter pulse bomb effect really making those count in this map so far. Now AK can step forward, knows he won't be dived in the back line, but Flatter's brought back to life and it might be his vengeance to follow because he has a Dragon Blade. Unco down to Zephyr, trying to deal with Gambler there. The Valkyrie doesn't get shot down because Flatter's back and he means business. There's a Dragon Blade in the mix for him here. He does note with interest the Valkyrie is still on effect for the Dallas Steel, so perhaps he can just hold on to this one, charge in towards Unco. Now to start to fight back in it here. Effects on the point though, we just found Gambler and now it's a 1v1 between Effect and Miro. And you still have OGE left as well. OGE's just trying to protect Harry Hook. Effect is still darting around on the point. Just doesn't have actually pushes OGE out of the way of it. Munchkin tried to leave him a little package there, but he's just shoved off it. Now Miro down to half. You can see Gamble switch over towards the Moira. So a lot of good close proximity healing available to Sol right now, but they're being shoved off the point. Zephyr's low, OGE still alive, still so healthy, and AKM, the tactical visor, just around the corner. You gotta think he's gonna wanna go for it in a second. He backs away from Jay Hong. Jay Hong wants to get aggressive, but AKM now is the tactical visor. Look at this perfect tracking from AKM. Jay Hong taken down. AKM with three to finish the round. A clear voice of what they're going to do, dedicated with the main tank role. So Sol will try to play this one in a similar way to Dallas. They're gonna have sort of Fletter standing behind Zephyr on that Widowmaker, trying to get picks, but AKM actually got the pick. He found Fletter, who gets resurrected. Gambler's been very diligent, continuing to resurrect people the moment they die. And that might be an opening here for Soul. Removing Mickey from the equation, and now with Jayhon coming forward, that transcendence to back Munchkin and co up. It's going to allow them to facilitate that aggression. They can really push with that healing, with peace of mind. And yeah, effect is going to be shoved on the point. This is what I mean about Dallas Fuel's point A defenses, by the way. They're a little oh. bit flimsy. I mean, Miro pushes, Miro and Munchkin push Unko so far back, you know, up to the high ground. AKM already, though, with this EMP. See if he can come up with a big one. There it is. Big turn around there. Flattery is affected by the hack, but he can still do damage. Here is Widowmaker, but he's still fouled too. He doesn't need the electronics. He just lights a candle for every person's head he sends rolling. Now he steps up to the point. OGE's fallen, Zephyr made sure of that. Gambler now is just gonna come back and make sure everyone's nice and toasty, topped up and healed. And the Soul Dynasty now still have to deal with Mickey in effect. And AKM's wrapping around the side. You can see him to the left of Jay Hong. He will try and threaten the Zinyata if he can. Get some hacks off on the tanks and try and put this fight back in favor of Dallas. There are numbers on the point and there's a Valkyrie here for Harry Hook, but Unko's dead before he could get his trans. Won't matter though. Won't matter. Five minutes, six oh. seconds on the clock for Soul. Pulse bomb stick. Force a primal rage here on OGE, who now has to sort of play away from the rest of his team and try and disrupt the back line in some way. There's the blade though, so you did get Valkyrie out. Now let's see if AKM can get anything with his oh, Dragon Blade. Oh, the swiping over at Fleta forces him back, doesn't secure a kill. No, not quite. AKM though, again, getting that space though is half the battle at this stage. With Munchkin and Miro being down, Miro gets rest up, but they've got that first point there. So give him a heal! I think Harry Hook realizes that and ducks back, but that transcendence was forced out of Unco. That's the only way I could stay alive. And now at 15 seconds left in the round, it's starting to get a bit dicey to quote my friend Semler. Mira's gonna jump in here, has himself the nano boost, and Unko now trying to get back. Mickey body blocking the doorway like the bouncer that he's known to be, but OGE has fallen to the hands of Fletter. The Widowmaker still doing damage over the point. Gambler off to the side, and Mickey, all he can do is bunny hop in the direction of the pain. Mickey's got a self-destruct here to use as well. It's going to be a tactical visor for AKM. Mickey got pulse bombs. It's going to be tough to keep him up, man. AKM's taken down by the self-destruct of Zephyr. Now there's going to be one from the Dallas Fuel. Won't catch Soul Dynasty out for that one. They're a little bit too canny. They return to the point after the Diva remix. And now it's time to do it all again. Miro taking a lot of damage in the transcendence. This is in effect for the Dallas Fuel, but he outlasts it. Goes for the primal rage. Harry Hook gets smashed. And now he's looking for Unko as well. There's nothing the man can do. Please, I'll give him my orcs. Take anything. No. Miro only wants his life. 
Sitting on top of the Biotic field of AKM, so again, he's going to be out healed in that case. AKM wins out the duel and finds Zephyr after desuiting him. Fletter returns to the fight now. It's going to be a 2v2 over the point. Effect on OGE versus Gambler and Fletter. But Fletter has the healing and the Dragon Blade now. OGE's got to get out. Effect can stall here easier. 1v2. And there's time for Mickey and OGE to return. Yeah, they'll get back onto the point. Effect is able to keep this one alive. He's able to kill three. But Fletter with this blade trying to put it away in Soul Dynasty's favor. Comes on in. AKM shuts him down. He eats a Helix rocket like it's going out of fashion. But Munchkin and Jay Hong are back on the point. Self destruct there. No attempt. It was Zephyr getting knocked out of his mech, should I say. And he's taken down quickly. AKM, another body kill to keep him alive, but there's a lot of damage this time. He had healing from Mercy Zenyatta and himself, and he still couldn't outlast. Harry Hook trying to get away. He had an orb of harmony, but it's not going to be enough. Now it's effect on the point. It's just him. Recalls onto the payload to dash out. Vicky couldn't set foot on there, and Soul will eventually take point A. Yeah. Squishy targets that could definitely use Big Brother Winston around to shield them. Munchkin will have to opt for the health pack in the meantime. Mickey's taking a lot of damage, but Harry Hook now has a Valkyrie and AKM's the tactical visor. Flatter immediately goes into deflect mode, but Gamble's not going to be so lucky. He gets himself too. He gets the D suit as well, and that should easily do the job. And Soul Dynasty only have seven seconds to get back to the payload now. Flatter and Munchkin are playing inside the building, and right there you can see that Mickey chased him down. Munchkin's missing. Miro drops in. It's just him for the time being. Flatter needs to get there, but no! Flatter's got to run in this one. He's got no choice but a switch strike at the payload. He's chucked out. He's down. Overtime still ticking through. Gamble threw himself in there, but it wasn't enough. Effect gets picked up by Jay Hong at long range and now the transcendence is going to be brought onto the payload. That means Zephyr can hang around. More time bought for the rest of Soul to rejoin this one. Munchkin's forced to recall and Zephyr's looking low. Desuited and dispatched. Jay Hong coming in from the left hand side also down. Munchkin attempting to do the same. The stall is still continuing but if Soul get off this payload for any reason that overtime's going to take down and it does. Yes! Now we have ourselves a series. It's one apiece going into half time. Yeah, no defense matrix here. Uh, just really OG shield. I guess Mickey's body. <laughs> kind of a rip on you. Like this. Oh, okay. Or he just goes and gets a killer rascal immediately. OG shield barely managed to withstand that. And honestly, the blizzard was fine. The placement was good. But three players for Daniel's fuel were extinguished in a heartbeat. So they couldn't capitalize on the crowd control that they created. First potential pick potential in this fight. Miro's already very low on health. Gambler stunned up. Nice, he's a flash bang. Multiple people caught that one. Flatter, they're gonna get away from this one. The dead eye finds him. And that's it. Easy as you like. And Dallas Fuel will take village. Second round of ultimate single key with a rip tie. Hooked in. That might be the opening here. Rascal picks him up, but it's responded straight away. Mickey's down. Still to have the main tank. The Arisa's still there for Dallas. Look at them. Drop straight to the point. They're gonna res this. Now, but Rascal can really wreck them with a rip tire and a couple of good grenades. Yeah, he's gonna do this. Let's see if this rip tire can get in unscathed. Oh, he's got two. No, it's actually with Keith's rip tire he's taking down. Better. I think he'll take that any day of the week. Yeah, keeping his team alive. Dallas captured the point here at 99%. Not a moment too soon. Rascal gets caught out playing on that higher ground, and Zephyr's trying to muscle his way in with the whole hog. Apparently, not enough mid on the. Just yet, OG coming off spawn. He does have a supercharger, so we'll see if he can get a use out of it here. That's gonna be Effects. a big pick to open things up. Well, Effect is getting dumped on in this matchup oh. against Flatter. He can't, he's not hitting any of these shots, he's not winning the 1v1. So, yeah, of course, Flatter gets to do this as much as he likes. Would he just wrecking it right now? OGE going down to him. Zephyr gets involved in the cleanup of the fight, and that's pretty comfortable here. And that should make it even Stevens here. Uncode, not much to be done. One more shot, and he'll be done. That was gross. Yeah, just insane Widowmaker play there from Fleta. So I thought they may have been able to turn it around when Rascal comes up with that Riptire, because when he's <laughs> using his Riptire, have to use some of that healing to provide the rest of his teammates on the ground. That'll be a charge from both Reinhardt, so it'll be a Jedi that comes through any Riptire. They know if he connects with that Biotic Grenade, all that healing from Munko goes out the window. Yeah, so Rascal is the biggest problem for the Soul Dynasty at any one point on this map right now. Farah very easy through. Miro to back up. You know, that shield's gonna get broken. Oh, he gets around a corner before OGE could get the Earth Shatter. And now that's a big one coming from Miro. At least two for him. And OGE gets charged up against the wall. Miro, nano boost. So damage reduction, very important right now. Great peel from the Ana here on the side of the Soul Dynasty. Jay Hong giving over that nano boost, and that's gonna give the map over to Soul Dynasty. Sometimes peel is more than positioning and effect is already wrapped around. You can actually see a glimpse from there right at the end. So he's going to jump in and make the pincer. Great dive. That set up on that from the Dallas was really good. They deal with Flatter and Mirror's already down. So this fight by all intents and purposes is over.
As long as I keep that payload moving, the Downus Fuel are gonna be on the Zephyr needs to get healing now. He's getting chunked down. He had to go in on his own, but that fucking happened. He has a self-destruct, so that's cool. Discord Orb on the Mini Diva, and yeah, it doesn't get back in his Meg. Rascal makes sure of that effect. Now chasing down Wakeed. Flatter up on the high ground, but he can't really peek himself out the door because Rascal's gonna be waiting for him there. And they get that second checkpoint. Five minutes on the clock. This is lightning fast stuff from the Dallas Fuel. They've not lost a fight thus far. And then Zephyr eats a pulse bomb, and it will mean he's demecking. Wakeed's hoping to get another pin with a rocket punch, but he uses it to back away instead. Self destruct on the point. Mickey and Effector right there. Miro just trying to get some damage on towards Rascal and force him away from his back line, but Wakeed is definitely looking like he's struggling, knocked away, Gambler's low on HP and OGE comes through with a bigger punch than Doomfist could muster, Primal Rage, you heard it here first, it beats the gauntlet, and now Zephyr being body blocked for the most part off the payload, Mickey knocks him away, now they jump in for Flatter working around the side, the transcendence here for the Dallas Fuel, this is going to make it all too easy to finish this off and just stay alive, it's only Gambler and Wakeed right now, and even the Doomfist can't get a pick through that healing, 2 minutes 30 on the clock, that's a very good number. If it doesn't go well, who knows what they would be doing right now. Mickey and I were to hang around in this fight. He was desuited, and Jay Hong pushed very deep with that transcendence. That's going to allow Miro to jump in and uh, make a quick work out of Harry Cook. See the effect there. Pulse Bomb not. I think he was trying to get Wakey with that one. It's hard to say. I, I actually believe it gets reflected by Flutter. Ah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, Why you made the big bus, Matt. Yeah, you can hear the Genji voice like right we're going to see the jump in. Mickey gets desuited early. Self-destruct, actually. They just need to keep Unko alive, where he doesn't use that Transcendence, because they're trying to get Transcendence out before Fleta uses his own Dragon Blade. Rascal's Dragon Blade there does a heck of a lot of good work. It just working down the big HP pools of the tanks of Soul Dynasty. In fact, gonna use he them. hits a Pulse Bomb on Fleta. Are you kidding me? That's gross! And now we're going to have ourselves a map five. We can't ask for much more there. This Dallas Fuel team, I would say exceeding expectations oh, on their... Harry might have to go for the sound barrier in a second. Uh, I think he has to save it if you're Harry. Especially after you yep. lose your main tank. Flutter does use Deadeye. But now Soul Dynasty, I mean, you have both support alts going into the next fight. Okay. The Rascal will have this EMP. Maybe you can saw this out a little bit longer. Some good progress made by Dallas here at the start. Okay, so yeah, Harry Hook in, in a 6v6 opted not to use a sound barrier because I don't think... All the way back there, just trying to stay alive is... Now he makes it back towards the point. You'll have four members for the Dallas Fuel still here. They're going to use Sound Barrier to try and engage. It's going to be Miro who takes that Rascal at the beginning. Stuck. That's a big one effect. Getting two kills for the fight, but the rest of his team are falling in droves. Unko's found Jay Hong and Gambler. Will he be able to hang on? One more melee. Effect gets the kill. Soul Dynasty, though, took control of the point. In the meantime, it's a 2v2. Zephyr, Munchkin, Effect, and Unko going head to head. It's going to be tough for Effect to break through that Diva. And now the rest of the teams are filtering back onto the point. Rascal has returned. Miro and Mickey are both there. This is where it gets interesting. Effect really needed to stay alive there. It's going to be 99 at 99 here in just a second. So we will see Doomfist come out here for Fleta. He's able to defend Mickey as things are starting to go in favor of Soul Dynasty, Mitch. The 6v5 fighting Gamble is going big. He's found himself two kills in the last couple of seconds. His Lucio was always one of his most impressive roles. And now Fleta getting pretty close there to an orbital strike. I know that's not what it's called, but effect, it's pulled out. Pulse Bomb there, Munchkin, great effort from Sol. They stepped up huge in those last few moments. Miro again, we talked about that Earth Shatter, he'd love to use it. Harry Hawk's caught, put up against the wall. That's not the kind of street art banks he would put up. I'll give you the big tip. It's gonna be the transcendence thrown in here. Miro trying to step back. Oh no, we can't get the Earth Shatter, he's forced to drive it into his shield. The whole hole kept him off his feet, and of course, Earth Shatter does not activate unless he's touching the ground. Good turnaround for Dallas, but will it be enough? Hook is blocked out. Miro brings up the shield at just the right time, and now it's only Mickey. Harry Hook, in effect, just walked back onto the point, but the sound barrier for Solo is going to make it easy to stave off these couple interlopers. Barrage from above gets one before Fleto does get protected by the defense matrix. Mickey found Gambler, though. The threat and distract generated by that Farah Barrage might have made the difference. It's gonna be a rip tire though coming in from Mukid. This could be the game ender here. OG does use his Earth Shatter, gets taken out. It's gonna be Soul Dynasty who flips the point back. Dallasville has to touch. Steady as she goes, Effect is trying to dip his toe in the water, but no, he's pushed away! And that was the chance for the fuel to finally get a win against Soul, but no, it's not gonna to be today. Soul Dynasty.